Hi YouTube, welcome to another video. Today I'm testing AMD's RX 7600 XT 16GB card from Gigabyte brand in some Blender rendering. I'll show the tests themselves and then at the end of the video I'll compile the data and we'll do a value comparison to decide if this is a good GPU for 3D rendering or not. After you watch the video, follow the link in the description to my community tab where I post the images from these test results so you can download them and kind of view them on your own time. So let's get into the testing. So we'll start with the classroom scene. Here you can see our GPU running HIP RT. And we'll go ahead and get this one started. The classroom is the fastest of the four scenes. So this one doesn't take too long. And here you can see it took about 50 and a half seconds, so we'll type that into the spreadsheet and move on to the barbershop scene. And this one takes a bit longer, so this is sped up quite, quite a lot. And you can see it takes about 20 seconds to compile the shaders, and then it starts rendering. And this test took about three minutes in 52 seconds. So about 232. Next is the Lone Monk. This is by far the longest scene out of all of them. This one compiles shaders a bit quicker, but this render is sped up significantly, uh, actually 44 times speed here. And this one took a staggering six minutes and 21 seconds. So 381 seconds total. Finally, the scan land scene. This one's a bit longer, even though it's only 300 samples. And this one comes in at 3 minutes and 22 seconds, so 2.02. Okay, so now that we have the test results, let's go back through and compare to decide how good of a value the 7600 XT is or is not. So we'll go back to the classroom data. We'll sort the table smallest to largest in seconds. And we'll highlight the 7600 XT information right here in yellow. So in the classroom, we got 50.5 seconds on the 7600 XT, which puts it about eight seconds slower than a 6700 XT. And really the comparison gets worse from there. Again, so keep in mind the prices here. Uh, this card is about 250 to $300 right now. And that's brand new from Best Buy. So that's kind of a retail value. Um, whereas something like the 3060, which would go for, oh, I want to say about $330 to $350, is 29 seconds. So yeah, you lose a little bit of VRAM, but I mean, the difference in speed there is pretty significant. An even better comparison is the A770 from Intel which is a, just a little more expensive normally. Um, I'd have to check that price on current sales and whatnot, but uh, the Intel is considerably faster with the same amount of VRAM, basically similar power draw, um, and really just a little bit more expensive. So for budget rendering and with high VRAM amounts, um, if, if $300 is your price range, you should really be looking at the Intel Arc A770 at this point. Um, I, I definitely don't think I can recommend the 7600 XT just for Blender rendering. It's probably decent in gaming and all that, but uh, just for this, it is not your best choice. So let's go on to the barbershop. We'll do the exact same thing. We'll sort smallest to largest in seconds. 
highlight our new data here. And the ranking is pretty similar to what we just saw. Um, let's plug in our prices again here. So speed-wise, the 3060 is a clear winner versus both the A770 and the 7600 XT. If you want 16 gigs of VRAM, um, well, really at this point, the 6800 XT still beats the um, Intel card and this 7600 XT. So um, honestly, for current prices, if you want a used card, the 6800 XT in this test looks like a really decent value. Um, anywhere you go up from here, the value is pretty consistent with something like the 3060. So if we look at the 4060 Ti, I think you can get these for about 450 now, maybe less, I'd have to look. But 16 gigs of VRAM, a little bit less power use than the 7600 XT, but we are significantly faster, more than double the speed for less than twice the price. So you get, you get a lot more value if you can swing the price of the 4060 Ti. And, and this is true in the classroom scene as well. So at about 450 bucks, uh, you're more than two and a half times faster than the 7600 XT. If you go with the 4060 Ti, same VRAM, less power draw, but two and a half times faster and significantly less than twice the power. So the 4060 Ti, um, which I know a lot of reviewers did not like for gaming, is actually way better for rendering. And this is true across the board, but let's, let's keep going. Uh, with our comparison so on barbershop the the 4060 ti it was kind of the same deal so let's go to the lone monk results now we'll sort those smallest to largest highlight our new card and let's plug in our pricing information here and i didn't just go check these right now but they should be they should be pretty close to true so obviously, if you find some deals on these, which you might this time of the year, um, you know, you can make your own call there. But anyway, so for our new card um, on the Lone Monk scene, which is the longest scene of these four, we got 381 seconds using the 7600 XT. Uh, that one's only about 24 seconds slower than the 3060. So those are a little bit closer in this test. Um, again, 4060 Ti. It was two entire minutes faster. However, it was definitely not twice as fast, if you will. So the value is a little bit closer on this heavy scene between the 4060 Ti um, and the 7600. However, a real standout here for this scene, for some reason, is the ARC, the Intel A770. And this is partly why the new B series gives me so much hope. Uh, because we're going to see some really interesting value here, but uh, the, the Intel card at 300 bucks even beats the 4060 Ti in this scene for some reason uh, by about 25 seconds. So significant amount and significantly faster than the 7600 XT here comparing the Intel card and our new AMD card. Uh, so in this test for heavy scenes, the arc really looks like a good value, um, especially as you go up the board on AMD GPUs like the 7800 XT. Let's just say that's about 500 bucks. That might be a little high now, um, but you really don't get a lot more speed for uh, 200 over. So basically. 67% more cost. Um, you're only slightly faster if you go from the Intel Arc A770 to the 7800 XT. So this benchmark test is always kind of unique. And the results on here really vary a lot from the other ones. So um, study those if you want. But let's move on to scan lands. So we'll sort this. Highlight the 7600 XT results. And 
in this test, it looks like it kind of fell even, even further behind. So uh, we went from 202 seconds on the 7600 XT all the way up to 125. So 77 seconds faster on a pretty old at this point card. Um, it's gonna cost a lot less than its list price here. So probably a used price is gonna be somewhat similar to the 7600 XT, but it's way faster. And the power draw difference is really not gonna be that much. Um, here again, the ARC and the 3060 are much better ideas for speed. And those even beat the 7800 XT in this test by a fair bit. I'm not sure what this test does to AMD, but it really doesn't do well on this, on this test. So let's plug our reference prices in here. Um, so the Intel and the 3060 being this close in speed really makes both of these look like a decent value. Uh, one more time, I just have to mention the 4060 Ti 16 gigs is a very compelling value argument for rendering. So you'll have to ignore the gaming benchmarks if you're looking just for a rendering card because this one really kind of stands out here. Um, and then you can see the rest of the results here. Um, one other note, I'll post updates of the results in this format on my community posts here on YouTube every so often. So check there if you want to see current um, benchmark results, and then you can kind of just look at the images yourself. You can download them, they're just pictures, and then refer to them in the future. Also in the comments over here, I include notes to, to kind of help understand, um, you know, different driver versions, different blender versions, if they were kind of uh, a unique situation. So there's a lot of information on here. I know it can be helpful to kind of stop and look at it on your own. So those will be in the community page. By the time I post this, I'll have a new post with these brand new up-to-date pictures. So um, go check that out. Feel free to download them, whatever. Uh, so as far as this card goes, we'll just sum it up by saying the 7600 XT for Blender rendering specifically is not a good value in terms of performance per dollar. It has too high of a power draw and it's too slow at its price point to really be considered competitive for this use case. So um, do what you will with that information. Um, the next couple of tests are gonna be interesting. Probably later this week, I'll be getting in an RTX 4060, which is one that people request all the time. So watch for that test. I think that's gonna be a good value on speed, but obviously with the lower VRAM, you know, that'll be a conversation for that video. Uh, so watch for that. And then we'll see what else gets released here in the next few weeks. I'll be jumping on them as fast as I can. Otherwise, that's it for this one. I really appreciate you being here, trying to trying to push hard and grow this channel. And um, all the comments and all the support you guys show is just incredible. And it's really helped over the last couple of years to make this something special. So I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.